Small Bird's Big Adventure. Small Bird was a small bird. He was very small and very birdy. Very small and very birdy. What do they mean by birdy? Are you birdy? Or am I birdy? No, we are not very birdy. Why? Because we are not birds, silly. What are birds like? Yeah, they fly. With wings. Don't you wish you had wings? I wish I had wings. Look at these shoes. These shoes are very pretty. What color are they? That's right, they're yellow. I wonder whose shoes these are for. Who do you think these shoes are for? Mm. Small bird lived in a beautiful house with the giant. Small bird loved the giant very much. She was a kind giant. She gave small bird lots of toys. Who was small bird living with again? Giant. That's right. Good job. This word sounds weird, doesn't it? It's not pronounced how it's spelled. But you did a great job working hard to pronounce it. They live in a beautiful house. Isn't that great? Do you want to live in a beautiful house? But you already do live in a beautiful house. Home is home. But I bet you could make your house even more beautiful, couldn't you? That's the spirit. Small bird was sad when the giant wasn't around. So one day, small bird went to go find the giant. Why do you think the small bird was sad when the giant wasn't around? That's right, the small bird loved the giant very much. We all have someone we love very much, and when that someone is ar isn't around, we are sad, even if it's just a little bit. Look, it's small bird's cage. What's that? The door is open. Where is small bird? Small bird left, but why? That's right, small bird went to find the giant because small bird missed the giant. You were thinking about that this whole time, weren't you? Good job. But wait, what's this green thing right here? Is it a clue? It's a feather. This feather fell out of small bird's wings, but how? I hope that didn't hurt small bird. Small bird flew up and up until he could see the whole world. He wanted to find the giant. Where would he land? Look, it's Small Bird. Isn't Small Bird pretty? Look at all these colors. What's this right here? Yup, that's Earth. This is what kind of place we all live in. All kinds of people and all kinds of animals live in this place. 
what animals you want to meet the most. Ah, good choice. I would want to meet a cheetah. Cheetahs are fast, super fast. They can run away faster than us. They can run way faster than us. And they're pretty. They look like cats, but bigger. And they have spots on their fur too. I can't wait to meet one. Small bird landed in a huge forest filled with trees and flowers and treasure. Small bird loved playing with the shiny jewels. But where was the giant? I wonder where the giant went. Look at all these jewels. Small bird loved playing with these jewels, but I bet we would love to play with these shiny jewels too. Where did small bird land? That's right, in a huge forest. I would love to play in a huge forest. Other kinds of animals live in huge forests too. Can you think of any animal that lives in huge forests? Squirrels. Squirrels live in huge forests too. They're cute, aren't they? You remember that squirrels live in forests too, all by yourself, didn't you? Keep trying your hardest, just like that. Small bird walked into a vast field of snow. The snow was white and soft. Small bird loved rolling around on the cool ground. But where was the giant? Wow, have you ever seen snow before? Snow is very soft and very pretty. I'm sure you would love to play in snow too. Not for too long though, because snow is very cold. Playing in snow for too long could hurt you if you don't dress for it. You have to dress lots to keep warm, especially when it's snowing. This time, small bird flew even higher into the sky. He flew among the stars and galaxies. He saw the moon. He saw a comet. But where was the giant? Look at those things. What do you think they are? Yup, they're planets. They are all the way up in the sky. Actually, they're even past the sky. They are up with the stars and the moon and the sun. We can't go there by ourselves. We need special planes to go high up. But Small Bird doesn't need a plane because he has wings. Isn't it nice to have wings? What would you do with wings? From way up high, with his sharp birdie eyes, Small Bird saw something. What could it be? Small Bird saw something. Did he find the giant? Small Bird must be getting tired flying so high up. I hope he finds the giant soon. What's this? It's a ruler, pencil, and paper. I wonder what they're doing with that piece of paper. What would you do with that piece of paper? Hmm. Draw, huh? I want to draw too. I want to draw small bird. Do you want to draw something?
small bird dives down, down, down. Where would he land? Be careful, small bird. Where do you think is small bird going? Isn't he scared going from a high place so fast? Small bird must be a brave bird. Small bird landed right in the giant's hands. He was so happy to see her. I love you, giant, he shrieked. He found a giant. Aren't you happy for him? He must be so relieved to have found a giant. What was the giant doing? Why did the giant leave small bird alone for so long? It doesn't matter now, does it? Small bird and the giant are back together. Small bird must be so happy. The giant held small bird close to her. I love you too, the giant said. Aw, they must be so glad to have found each other. Look, it's the moon and another planet above the giant. What's this over here? That's right, that's a plant. I wonder what kind of plant that is. It's almost as big as the giant. What kind of plant do you think that is?